I will be using one whole stem of the aloe vera plant. You can find these stems of aloe in any local food stores that you have near you, like Walmart, Target, or any Mexican food store. I bought mine there. It was around $1.50 each, so $1.50 each little aloe plant. Here I am just hand pulsing the aloe vera. And let me just tell you the benefits of this magical plant. It contains antioxidants, enzymes, vitamins A and C, and it is highly anti-inflammatory. It can help treat burns, acne, and dry skin. Aloe vera also contains aloin, a natural depigmenting compound that has been shown to lighten skin and worked effectively as a non-toxic hyperpigmentation treatment. Aloe vera plant has been around for centuries and it's become increasingly popular every day. With so many recognized benefits, we could consider including it in our daily routine to improve our well-being. This is why I'm making aloe vera soap. So here's the base to my soap. These are four oils that I have in here and I'm just hand pulsing them as well just to get them all mixed in together. Please excuse that big blotch stain that I have of soap. I was making soap earlier and it managed to get on my table as always, but I strictly use this table only for soap. Here I am adding my lye solution. This is the main purpose that makes our soap a soap. And this is when it becomes tricky, so you have to be wearing your gloves and goggles because if it does touch your skin, it does kind of become irritant and itchy. So I'm going to keep hand pulsing and I am at doing it on fast mode so you'll see everything going really fast. But I'll be hand pulsing for about a good three minutes just to get everything mixed in together and removing those air bubbles at the top. You would ask why are we using lye if it's irritant to the skin? Well during the soap making process lye is mixed with water to create a caustic lye solution which initiates the saponification reaction when it's added to the skincare oils in the recipe. Once the reaction is complete there is no longer any lye or water so it's chemically changed. Here I am adding, I'm adding titanium dioxide to my blend of oils and titanium dioxide is used to color the soap and lighten other colors from a cream to a white. Titanium dioxide is an earth mineral used as a thickening, whitening, and lubricating sunscreen ingredient in soaps or any cosmetics. It protects skin from UVA and UVB radiation and is considered no risk of skin sensitivity. I will not be adding any fragrance oils to my soap base today. I tend to stay away from any fragrance put into my facial soaps because your skin is more sensitive than your body is. I'll get more into that later. Right now I'm just adding some beneficial oils for the skin, some vitamin E oil, some lightening oil, skin brightener, vitamin B, C, and 3 oils, some rose hip oil. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to keep putting in more oils. Adding any fragrance to your face is no good. This is why we all tend to have acne or break out so quickly because of the fragrance that they are putting in our skin. It's no good for your face, especially if your face is more sensitive than your body is. Scents can trigger allergies. If the soap you're using doesn't sting your eyes, it likely won't bother your skin. For many people, the skin on the face is more sensitive than any, and then the skin on the rest of the body. So the soap to use on your body may be too harsh to use on the face. This is why I like to stick to all natural. And any oil that I use today was natural for, it can be used on your face and body, and it won't trigger any allergies. Of course, everyone's face is different and everyone's skin is different. I am not a dermatologist. Of course, everyone's skin is differently and everyone's allergic to different things. So I've poured in my white base into a pouring measuring cup and that will be the bottom base to my soap. Now I'm going to pour in the aloe vera gel juice that we made earlier and it's 100% aloe vera. It's not watered down or anything. That was the whole plant of aloe vera. And here I see a little dark skin of the end of the aloe vera plant. Take that out. 
and I did pulse in the skins some of the skin of the aloe vera so once my soap has solidified and turned into a soap you will see like little yellow or green light specks on the soap that is the aloe vera skin and I'm hand pulsing the aloe vera making sure that it gets blended in very well but like I was saying earlier about fragrance I do add fragrance on my hand soaps or I t sometimes tend to stay away from it because some people are very allergic to any scents and right now I'm just adding some green mica and it's from this brand that you see right here Oops, let me get it closer uh, there we go AOND brand and it came like in a 12 pack of colors I believe it was like $20 Yeah, I'm just hand blending this will just give the look of the aloe vera color a light green kind of like a, in the midst of a dark and light green so yes the industry or any big products always try to sell you soaps because they know us women attract to the good scents and they put these facial soaps or facial scrubs or face max that smells so good but come on now you know that's not good for your skin I am someone that has very um, sensitive skin so anytime I put like a lotion or face scrub or anything that has any scent to it I tend to break out so quickly and my face will get so puffy and red so I've learned over the years that it was the scents that were inside of the products that I was using. And I would buy from the high brand to the low brand. And this is why I decided to start making my own soaps because nothing was working for my face. And I know there's a lot of people out there that have the skin that I do that is very sensitive. And if you say if you've bought this new um, body soap or you know facial soap, and it smells so good right but you put it on your face and you get this burning feeling that it starts itching itching and you don't know why well it's because of the fragrance that's in there because fragrance is not meant to be go on your face I mean on your body your body is not as sensitive as your face is that's there. And that is why when I formulated my soap recipes I make sure that all the oils and butters that I do use are beneficial to the skin that they have a beneficial property for the skin so I've been hand pulsing for quite a while now but here I have my mold sitting like at a tilted base on my cabinet here on my crafting cabinet and I've put my white base already and that will be the bottom base to my soap and doesn't this look like guacamole guys it looks so good but you cannot eat it, it's not edible. <laughs> so I'm just making sure that everything is well incorporated. So I'm getting th everything mixed in, giving it that last spin around with my spoon here. So my camera died when I was trying to record when I was pouring in the green base of my soap into the molds. But as you can see, this is how they turned out. At the end, I did add the leftover white specks of the white uh, base of soap that I had earlier that I put at the bottom. But this is how the tops are looking right now. And I did spray it with 90% alcohol over the tops just to prevent any soda ash. And now I've unmolded them, and this is how they look. They are a little soft right now because of the gel, uh, aloe vera gel that was in there. So it'll take around three weeks for them to be ready. But this soap is super beneficial for your skin. It has so many vita vitamins in it and just beneficial oils that go into feeding your skin those nutrients that it needs. So the perfect facial soap to use.
Remember I told you guys earlier that the skins of the aloe plant will show up. Well, this is how they look. They show up a little dark green and some do look a little yellow, but it's okay. It's a natural soap. Everything's handmade, so they are not all consistent, but my soaps are two and a half inches thick. So they are pretty thick. And yeah, look. Just I'll clean them later and I'll bevel them. As you can see, the colors in them, the little specks of, of the skins, show up and tend to color differently. But yeah, this is the natural aloe vera soap that I make. And if you're interested, you can follow my Instagram page at craftyhands underscore one, two, three, four. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on so you will be notified when I do post. I don't post quite often or not consistent at all. I am a busy mother of three, so it gets a little hectic and hard to um, manage and post all the time. I have cleaned up and beveled my soaps, and I'll give you guys a close-up of these soaps. Those dark spots you see are the skins of the aloe vera plant, and look at the tops of these soaps. They look like icing on soaps. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.